Benchmade knives are a U.S. made product, and they are being counterfeited uh, by Chinese companies to undermine their brand. And uh, they're rather expensive products. And uh, so this is a comparison between the the real one, the real bug out 535-3 carbon fiber and a fake one. And so this is found all over the internet. So if you are looking at a knife like this, um, there's fakes and the fakes have boxes that look perfect. They have all the insides that look perfect, even little bags and paperwork and everything. So uh, you can't go buy that as far as trying to not buy a fake. Of course, going to if you're buying a new one, you definitely want to go to a, a, a authorized reseller, a, a legitimate company, and then that you'll get a, a real one. Um, but you know there is a lot of fakes out there. So this fake from China is like thirty or forty bucks, and it's about the same size, and it's about the same weight. So here's the real one, and it's showing on the scale two ounces, and then the fake one. Put it on the scale, and it's two ounces. So same weight, same size, and it looks very similar. So it's easily uh, easy to get fooled. But there's a few things that you can look at to, you know, tell the difference. So let me zoom in here. And one of the things is from a distance you can tell that these little threads in here are a different color. They kind of stand out. They're like brass threads in here for the reverse size of side of the uh, the pocket holder, uh, the pocket clip. The color is a little bit off. The, the dimples here on the back, this is the fake here, are much deeper. These are more subtle. And you can see this extends up a little bit higher than this one. And on this side, very subtle differences there. Uh, the grinds are much more precise on the blade. You can see these grinds right here are much more precise on the real one than the fake one. All right, so let's look at the actual blade and the logo. Uh, so here is the real one, and here is the fake one. And you'll notice that the, the real one is much more subtle and faint. Uh, the, especially that little trademark. This little trademark right there is very, very small on the real one. Very, very small and faint. And on the fake on the fake one, it's more it's bigger. Typically on the fakes, it's a little bit bigger. Logo looks a little bit quite a bit different actually if you look at it close enough. And then the actual metal looks different too when you actually see them in person. And hopefully the camera can pick it up. You see the design is a little bit different there. Uh, but at, when I first started looking for the fakes. I was looking for that little that little registered circle trademark there, and I noticed that the real one is much smaller, so it was a dead giveaway just by looking at that. Uh, but then I noticed there was a fake one. This is another fake one with a different handle, and it has a much smaller logo. So you so even though it's not as faint as the real one, it is smaller, so it's trying to replicate it a little bit better. But you can still notice the grinds, the difference in the grinds there on the blade. And it is a little bit different. But it, they are trying to match it a little bit better than the um, than others. You know, some of them are better than others. But yeah, you can definitely tell in the quality of the machining of the blade. And you see the angle there of that grind is slightly off. This one extends into the handle. The other side goes just above the handle. Carbon fiber looks similar. 
So yeah, uh, you definitely don't want to spend a bunch of money on one of these knives and then find out later that you got the fake one. So in this case, with the fake that I ordered from, directly from China to make sure it was a real fake, <laughs> um, genuine fake. And then this one was ordered from a legitimate retailer that located in the United States. Um, yeah, you don't want to find out later that you got a fake. <laughs> So, uh, cause there is a ton of them for sale. I actually saw a in-person store, like a, like a knife shop have fake bench made bug outs in there. And I was like, wow, yeah, they were obvious fakes too. And they were selling them for $250. So, you know, expensive product. You don't want to, don't want to get a, a fake one. So hopefully this video helps. I'm going to try to, um, I'm, you know, I'm trying to do, I've I've done the cold steel, an Ontario knife, and I'm and I'm do some spider codes as well, uh, because it is a, an, an issue as far as undermining U.S. brands. Um, is, is what I think their intention is, and it's actually working. So if this allows to if this is allowed to continue, then, you know, it's really going to cause a a big problem. Uh, for these, you know, U.S. brands in general, because it's not just knives, it's just a lot of other brands, you know, or there's a lot of counterfeits on just about everything. And when they go through the the, the, the work and uh, everything to have the packaging right, the logos right and all that stuff, and even in the listings when they sell it from China, they say, you know, it's intended to, for resale. They're designing it to for other people, and that's their intention. Uh, so, so Yeah. So hopefully you don't get fooled now because you can refer to this video and at least see what the real one looks like uh, and see if it measures up to the one you're looking at potentially buying. And of course, you know, uh, the, the legit websites that are located in the United States that everybody buys from, uh, those are the best place to buy. But, you know, it is good to be able to tell because let's say you don't buying a used one, you know. You know, let's say you spend $250 on this knife and it's you just decide it as like a collector's item or whatever, and then you go to resell it. Well, it's going to be harder to sell it if nobody trusts used knives on the market, you know. So it's a good to kind of actually see what the real one looks like in detail, so you can tell the difference. Anyways, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.